Okay, so this is part two on our way to the little fat golden cat. Um, so once we've downloaded the file, the next thing we always need is a program that will tell the printer what to do with the uh, model so that it turns into an actual object. And every 3D printer has his own software that does that. And the Ultimaker 2, which we are using, um, has a program which is called Cura. So here's the cat that we downloaded from the Thingiverse. And uh, this is the program. And here's the little cat. And what we can see here is the virtual build plate of the printer. So this is actually the size that the printer can print. Um, the cat here is really small. We can move it around. We can flip it over, which is maybe not a good idea in this uh, case. We can scale it up and down. This would be a bit bigger, but we can actually go and make really big ones. Um, but right now we are just focusing on this. And I will show you the basic uh, settings that you can have. There is a, a lot more advanced uh, things, but then you should maybe um, go through a specific advanced tutorial for the Cura program. So the main parameters that we have is the layer height. That would mean how high is one layer um, that the printer makes, because the printer makes one layer next to the uh, after the other. So that would be the setting here. And of course, the thinner the layer is, the higher the resolution. Because when the layers get really thick, you can start to see them in the model, and it gets these uh, ruffles here. So let's make a let's take an average setting, which is which would be 0 0.1 millimeters for one layer height. Here you can determine how um, strong the walls of the object will be. And now you can hear that this is almost hollow in the inside, but the walls can also be determined separately. How thick do you want them to be? Um, and since one one line that the printer makes is 0 0.4 millimeters, 0 0.8 would mean that it makes two lines for walls, like um, twice the twice the width of one line of the printer. Um, here you can determine how uh, thick, well it kind of explains itself, you can determine how thick the bottom and the top layer will be, so that's basically the, the roof of the head of the cat and um, its base. And the fuel density is a very important uh, parameter because there you can determine how much material will actually be put into the volume. So you have the walls and you have the bottom and you have the top, but you also have a lot of space in between. And since you can hear now that it's kind of hollow, um, I only put 5% here, but when you go up until 100%, it will make a solid plastic body. So that will take a lot of material and is used very, very seldomly. And um, in this case, 5% is enough. The print speed I would just leave like that because 50 is a very good, um, a very good setting. And supports would only mean that sometimes you have overhangs, so your volume, your your model would maybe like reach out to the sides. Maybe you have someone with outstretched arms or something, and then obviously the arms will need some supports. And then you can just say support type touching build plate, and then the printer will take care of that all by himself. And um, the only thing you need to do now is save the toolpath. And we call it Fat Cat, maybe. And put it on the desktop. And we save it. And here you can see it's been saved as a G code, which is what the printer needs. And this file we have to put on an RE, RSD card, which will be um, put into the printer in the next step.